Hi everyone, welcome back, it's Anna. All right, I'm going to do a few flip throughs uh, flip of some old, old junk journals that I made. Um, they are not complete at all. These are ones that I still kind of have to fill out, but I, th I don't think I've ever shared these before. And many of these, um, well, two of the big ones are ones that I started putting together as a way to use up a lot of the old papers that I was hanging on to. So if you've watched my videos back from 2016 when I really started to talk about the beginnings of stationary minimalism, I was talking about what I was going to do with all these different papers that I wanted to keep that had sentimental value, um, but I didn't want to throw away. And I and like in a rush, like I wasn't even thinking about it or planning on it. Um, I, I mean, it's nothing pretty. I just put them all into um, notebooks that I made uh, as junk journals to eventually fill out later. So it's got all the papers and little bits of magazine clippings and ephemera from growing up. Um, it's all saved in these uh, these little notebooks that I've made. Um, the two big ones come. Um, show pretty much all of the major like little paper bits that I was really holding on to and I'll do just kind of a flip through of what I did with them and then I've got a little one that I made um oh I think before this all happened of just like a lot of little more kawaii cutesy um bits that I used to get from a lot of the early days of pen paling so I thought it'd be fun to kind of show you what I did with it. Eventually I'm going to use these as actual journals. Um, so if you're, I guess, you know, if you've got some time right now doing some spring cleaning in your own little desks and looking for ideas to just use up these little paper bits and just kind of have fun with collaging and whatnot, maybe this will give you some ideas. So I'm going to start with the first one. I've not talked about this actually. I bought this back in 2016, right before I moved out to Washington. Um, somebody was making these handmade journals with the Bernstein Bears fabric on it. And I love the Bernstein Bears. I grew up with them. Um, I love their books, and I'm really excited to start introducing those to my daughter. But um, I ordered it from her. I, ugh, I'm sorry, I can't remember the shop or who I got it from. It, I got the source from um, somebody posting it. Um, when they started making them um, in one of those traveler's notebook forums. So I'm sorry I can't tell you who made this, unfortunately, because it was so long ago. But um, it's just a fabric cover. There's, It's like a soft cover. So um, I didn't really have a use for it, but um, it kind of became the cover of this um, really, really old junk journal that I made. Um, so the original source of this notebook was a, it's a zero... Zero three. It's for whatever the regular notebook that you get with your traveler's notebooks when you first order them. Um, and it's kind of gone through a few versions of creation here. Um, these are all these like epoxy stickers that I had from my very early days of scrapbooking. And I didn't want to get rid of them, so I just glued them onto the cover. They're just kind of peeling off and curling up, so it's not, not the coolest, but... Um, whatever. <laughs> and it's, um, I don't think it continues on the back, but, um, I don't know, I guess it adds a little texture to it. But, um, I started this notebook, um, in the early, early days of pen paling. There used to be, like, this cool, fun project where if you sent your, uh, notebook along to somebody else they would fill it out as like a little introduction about themselves and about their city and then they would send it off to the next person and the next person well it only reached like two or three people and then the third person decided to just keep the notebook for over like two months and I finally got it back demanding it back because it didn't look like it was going to get anywhere um so that was kind of not cool but um so the first few pages are you know my introduction and and then you know a couple people filled it out and whatnot and then it kind of ended in Kansas and that's where it was stuck um and then after that I just filled it with a bunch of my own things so packaging from a piece um like a 
bar of chocolate that I got in France. Just some of my favorite die cuts and paper bits that I just wanted to keep. Stamps, old stamps. Um, National Geographic cutouts. You know, old flashcards that people sent me. Another National Geographic images and note cards. Oh, this slips out. I'm actually considering taking out some of these bits to use in my current channel, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep that one, take it out, and use it for something else. So, I don't know. I just, I didn't have any plans for this. Oh, this is an old Hello Kitty card that my cousin sent me, or she gave to me while I was in Hong Kong when we were kids. So that's like vintage Sanrio. A receipt from an antique shop for when I bought something. I mean, these are, I mean, there's nothing special, you know? I just, there's just a lot of paper things that I wanted to keep and vintage paper. See, like, I can easily pull this out and use it for another journal one day if I wanted to. But I just had fun with it. I wasn't thinking about it. I just glued stuff in. I had no, you know, there wasn't me just trying to figure out, like, color schemes and whatnot. This is old, this is an old paper gift bag from um, the zoo, um, when you bought something, it would have all these like fun facts about different animals that were in the zoo and I, I kept the bags. So I'm really glad I did the other bits in the back here. So that's like vintage paper from when I was a child. So that's, I don't know, just pieces of history from my life. A card that my brother made for my birthday when we were kids. photo of a project that I made for a friend when back in high school, a card that I made in middle school from a field trip project. These are reproductions of old money. Those are just kind of fun to have. Stamps from like na like a nature magazine that my dad used to get. He would give us the stamps and we would just rip them out and play with them and I, I'd kept all my favorites. I had them in an, an, an envelope for the longest time, and I just put them in there. Old plane tickets from when traveling, a school ID. I used to work at Apple, <laughs> so it's the little card that you get. Guys, remember sticky tape from back in the day? I still have some sticky tape. That's, that's like precious memories right there. And just fun things. So there's not many pages left, but I still have some bits here, like a, an old lucky red envelope that I used to get. Um, these used to be um, treats that we would get for my gerbils a long time ago. I love the movie Ratatouille, and they made a whole line of like little Ratatouille snacks. But the little croissant ones were like their favorites. They smelled really good. <laughs> I kept the packaging. They don't make them anymore. Um, just an old spool of um, the packaging from an old spool of yarn from um, a place that my mom used to work at. So these are just all the little paper bits in here. Um, this was supposed to be like a an actual journal, but at some point I said, um, now I remember why I dislike the 003 insert. My pen doesn't glide as smoothly on this paper. And so I pretty much gave up on it you know, after so many pages. So I've got another insert here to use, but, um, you know, that's kind of what is going on with this junk journal. So, you know, I have plenty of materials to play around with. And then here's the big one. This was definitely one that I made in 2016 at the start of my stationary minimalism. A lot of it was like, um, stationary bits and things that uh, pen pals would send me and I would just cut up things from their letters and whatnot because I had I had so many saved up letters and whatnot that um, you know a lot of people that I'm not in touch with that I just I didn't want to keep especially because I was moving so much so a cute little mini newspaper that we used to get from the sports show as a kid 
This was a little crooked when I saw it in the insert, but that's okay. Images from places that I wanted to travel. Old stamps, like packaging, lots of packaging from um, just things that I was saving up from um, as a kid. I would just save pretty papers and, and things like that. So that's the same with this black paper. Same with this gift bag. I just liked it and I was held, holding on to it. Um, a blank journal card. I mean, I could easily use this as a, something in my journal now, so I'm going to take that out. Um, postcards. This one is one that um, my French teacher sent me. Ones that my cousin sent me. Stickers, postcards, you know, pretty interiors. I mean, I was doing this. This is very much like how I used to journal too as a middle school to, you know, high school kid, you know. That's my old PO address, so I don't, I'm not worried about that. Um... I don't know, just pretty images, magazine, photos, more, oh, I could probably pull these journal cards out and use it for something, envelopes, letters, these are cards that I used to make from magazine cuttings and just give them to my family, vintage paper, postcards, oh, here's a pretty note card. Somebody sent me a birthday card there. It's pretty. Somebody drew me that. Old plush packaging. I remember that. Photocopies from old history books. I bet there's a letter in here. Or something like that. What is in here? Oh, just a little business card. Packaging from probably another pen pal letter that I did want to keep. I like that throw in a stone. Chair. Oh, packaging from um, a bar soap company that my husband got me in the early days of when we were dating. A postcard that somebody in high school wrote me. Um, you know, just lots of flip outs and papers that I wanted to keep. Another card that my brother made me <laughs> for graduation. More pen pal things. I mean, oh, this is another blank journal card. A housewarming card in here that, you know, like old cards that people, you know, they didn't do anything other than sign their name. Why not take, take it apart and just save the images if they're pretty? Pen pal letter. I did that a lot with a lot of cards because, you know, you always get the people that just sign their name. They don't really write anything personal. Um, if they write something personal, I do tend to keep it. But other than that, I, I don't. Because um, it's not as meaningful if they didn't write anything in there. A lot, a lot of pictures of Kate Middleton. I love the Duchess of Cambridge. Another great journal card. So this was made up of, you know, two big inserts that I sewed together. More magazine things of them when they were engaged. Um, pretty interiors, I just I love interiors. Clip outs of, and probably documents that I wanted to save. Envelopes that I got, more papers. I, I was just, desperate to just wanting to save this, but also not have it all loose, you know, in in a box. So I, um, you know, I just I had a glue stick, I had some paper, and I put it all together. And it just makes for a really fun junk journal to play in in the future. And... As you know, I'm on a budget. I'm, I'm, you know, trying to use things up. This is a great way for me to be able to have different journals to pick from. Um, an old um, little thing that my nephew made way back in the day. I saved it. 
in there and there's one right there and then this one will be very brief um, I made the this one probably before the other two um, I took some old scrap of paper I just I sewed it in with um, two little booklets that I made from just print paper that I eight and a half by eleven I just folded it in half ripped it and then I just put them into two um, little booklets so it's nothing uh, major so I just use all the like cutesy stuff and stuck that in to make their own little junk journal and oh I don't know I probably made this in 2015 and then these two big ones are in 2016 So I'll just go through this quickly. Well, Snoopy card, playing card, stickers. Some were just blank pages, you know, I wasn't. Some little pull up pieces here. What's in here? A little typewriter. Oh, that's kind of fun. Maybe I'll just take that out and use it. Take that out too. This little, um, Little thing where I can just stick something in there. Lots of little bits, you know. Stamps from envelopes um, from pen pals. And yeah, I eventually, oh, I must have ripped something out to use it, or it, maybe it didn't stay. I don't know. I feel like this one I could probably give to my daughter if she really wanted it. And there's just a lot of blank pages. This, this card. And that's it. So those are the different junk journals that I've made that are waiting to be used. So I hope that gives you some ideas of playing around with your papers. Um, if you're just looking for a therapeutic way to glue things down. I always find personally that just gluing things down, cutting things up, and just kind of collaging and whatnot is always relaxing to me, um, where I'm not really worried about composition and color coordinating and whatnot. Um, so I do hope this uh, inspires you in some way. I don't know, maybe it doesn't. Just thought I'd share because I haven't shared these at all yet. Um, so I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.